Hey everybody, this is Dr. Dan from eSports Healthcare here to talk about the causes of carpal tunnel syndrome. Now carpal tunnel syndrome occurs when there is compression or irritation of the median nerve at the carpal tunnel at the base of the hand and wrist area. Now, this can occur under a few different conditions. And the first is inflammation. Now, this is obviously seen with any injuries or trauma to the area but also seen with repetitive strain injuries, which are found with overuse of the flexor tendons. Uh, this will lead to inflammation of the tendon sheath, which surrounds the tendon, and a condition known as tenosynovitis. This is often found with people who heavily use the keyboard or mouse as they are constantly pressing down with their fingers using those flexor tendons. Uh, another source of inflammation is actually hormonal changes often seen during pregnancy. This is going to lead to increased fluid retention, which means that more fluid means more pressure in that tunnel. Another factor that can lead to carpal tunnel syndrome is the formation of adhesions in the fascia that covers the carpal tunnel. When there are either repetitive motions in one plane or a static position holding the hand and wrist in that position for a long period of time, these are gonna cause a tensing and shortening of that band of fascia, which is again going to narrow the space of the tunnel. A third factor that can lead to carpal tunnel syndrome comes from direct compression of that median nerve and the flexor retinaculum, which uh, sits right above it. Now this might come from either direct pressure where maybe your hand and wrist are not being supported and you are resting upon either the desk or table in front of you, or from holding your hand in a poor position, such as extension for a long period of time with poor position and posture at the keyboard. Uh, these poor positions are going to cause tension of that flexor retinaculum, which is going to again put pressure on the median nerve. There is also some research on chronic vibration leading to or exacerbating uh, carpal tunnel syndrome, but again, there needs to be more research on this. It's still early in the research on it. Uh, so to summarize, carpal tunnel syndrome can be caused by inflammation, fascial adhesions, and direct compression of the carpal tunnel through either poor hand and wrist position or injuries or overuse imbalances. For more information on carpal tunnel syndrome, check out our website at esportshealthcare.com and don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at esports underscore health. Thank you for watching and see you next time.